Welcome back to Lumios Tower, where we're aiming to be the very best like no one ever was. And today, we're going to be talking about a really interesting topic, I think, and that is gimmicks. And, you know, gimmicks are something that Pokemon's kind of been doing, uh, at least in the modern version of gimmicks, I should say, since Generation 6 with X and Y, uh, where we have Mega Evolutions. You know, before that, we kind of did have new features always introduced into the franchise, but I would say, like, Mega Evolution is the first true gimmick. And then from there, obviously, you had Z-Moves and you had uh, Dynamax. And now we have the Terrestrial Phenomenon. So I just kind of wanted to talk about some gimmicks that I think we could see in the future that I think will be really cool to see in the future. First off, I do think that uh, there is, like, a, a pattern here with these uh, gimmicks. We see that Mega Evolution is kind of very generic and has... Uh, you know, your, your very basic, uh, just, we gave this Pokemon a power-up, you know, he, he, this Pokemon has better stats, it's got a different ability, maybe, and it might even have a different type, you know, those kinds of things, but then we move into Z-Moves, and it, it starts focusing on a certain aspect of the Pokemon, it focuses on the moves of a Pokemon, and then we move into with Dynamax, it's kind of, you know, again, is very similar to Megas, but does focus on the Pokemon's, um, I guess, HP really is the primary thing, because Dynamax can, like, double your HP if you're, like, maxed up, like, uh, I forget what it was called, was it Max Candy? I don't remember, but, you know, the, the things you use to max your Pokemon, but then you would have max their Dynamax bar, rather. And then you would also have, like, they'd get max moves, and if they had a Gigantamax form, they would have uh, a G-Max move, and, and all those kinds of things. And it just allowed Pokemon to kind of take advantage of secondary effects, really. You know, like, every single max move and every single G-Max move had some kind of uh, additional effect, whether it was lowering the opponent's stat, uh, raising your stat, setting up you know, terrain, weather, even hazards, all kinds of different things. It was, it was a really, really cool feature, I think. I, I, I like Dynamax a lot. I think that I kind of treated it harshly when it was around. But now we have Terrastal, which focuses on a new aspect of the Pokemon being its type. And what this does is it allows, as you can see in this raid, this Mabostiff, while normally a dark type, has become an electric type Pokemon, and it, the functionality of this is that defensively, it is an electric type now. Even though a dark type is weak to fighting moves and bug moves, this Pokemon won't be weak to those. It'll be weak to only electric's weaknesses, which is ground in this case. So, I say all this to say, we should look at these and kind of assume what might come from this in the future. Like, what would be another aspect they could focus on of the Pokemons. They focus on stats with Megas, moves with Z-moves, uh, a little bit of a mix of both with Dynamax, and then typing now. I would say that we could see abilities get some kind of power up. Now, obviously, I have not made a Pokemon game. I am not affiliated with the Pokemon company. But, if I were to speculate on how that could be, they might be able to, in fact, I'm certain they could pull it off better than anything I can come up with, but I think one thing we could see is perhaps a, uh, a ability like activation, like you can activate your ability at any point in the battle. This could really be something broken because you have intimidate is an ability that when you come out, it'll lower the opponent's attack. Well, this could allow for us to, when, you know, we're in the battle and we're kind of in a tight spot, activate our ability to, again. So, like, it'll still activate when Star Raptor comes out. It'll have its Intimidate activate. But then at another point in the battle, I can, of course, only once per battle, like with past gimmicks, make Star Raptor's Intimidate activate again. Another flip side of this would be, you know, I could with Dragonite. Dragonite has the multi-scale ability. Dragonite's low on health. He's about to, you know, take a hit that she's not going to be able to live. I could activate her multi-scale ability so that she lives the next hit 
you know, a little bit better because it halves the damage. You know, you could, with Pokemon with Blaze, Overgrow, Torrent, you could go ahead and activate those at the beginning of the battle so you don't have to wait for them to activate later on. Now, of course, there are some abilities where I don't know how this would work, like Water Absorb, for example. I don't know how that one would work because it has to be hit by a water move for it to activate but maybe just since water absorb heals you maybe if you just activated water absorb it'd be a little health boost to the pokemon you activate storm drain it'd go ahead and get a special attack boost things like that you know i really think that could be such a competitive ability uh, or, or gimmick rather i think it would be a lot of fun all the different takes you can have on that that would be I really think it'd be good. Maybe there's something better that could be come up with for abilities. You could make the argument that hidden abilities was their ability gimmick where they gave Pokemon, you know, second or third abilities. You know, that, that was a very big deal for sure. But uh, I would argue that, like, that wouldn't, wasn't really a gimmick. It was more of, like, an additional feature, you know, like giving Pokemon new movesets and stuff. You know, they give Pokemon new abilities every so often. You know, Pelipper got Drizzle and Torkoal got Drought. In Gen 7, uh, in Gen 8, Weezing picked up Stench, and just, just things like that. So I, I don't think that I would count hidden abilities. But yeah, I, I think that could be a lot of fun. Now, what's the point of gimmicks? What are their purpose? Well, to be frank, first and foremost, the gimmicks are used to, from the Pokemon Company standpoint, the gimmicks are used to diversify VGC and uh, drive VGC a little bit, you know? Uh, the thing that makes VGC, uh, all competitive battling, but especially VGC, since that's the one that, like, they run the uh, tournament brackets for, and they run, uh, like, they even stream and stuff. It's the one that garners the most interest. The point of a gimmick is to diversify these competitions. If we never got gimmicks then the same Pokemon that are good this gen would be the ones that are good next gen. You know, sure, we'd get some more that are good, but it would just be the same thing over and over and over again. You know, we already see a lot of that, frankly, even with gimmicks. You know, like Incineroar is just a competitive Pokemon. Landorus Therian is just a competitive Pokemon. Those are always around no matter the gimmick. So imagine it without a gimmick. It would be such a rough... VGC. It would be a very boring VGC, I should say. I mean, it it wouldn't be fun. It, it really wouldn't. So, what's something that could diversify VGC? And I think one idea that I really, really hate, but to be honest, it's something I could totally see Pokemon doing, is fusions. You know, we, we have seen kind of a lighter version of fusions with, like, legendary Pokemon being able to fuse, uh, such as... Um, Calyrex is able to fuse with Glastrier and Spectrier, Curum with Zekrom and Reshiram, and uh, I'm, I'm totally blanking, Necrozma with Sogaleo and Lunala. We, we do see fusions there, but I'm saying more like a fusion that you would activate once per battle. They could. This would probably be more like Megas, where it's for specific Pokemon, and less like Z-Moves, Dynamax, Terrastal, where any Pokemon can do it. This would be for specific Pokemon, but like, for example, I see Gallade, on here on the screen and that makes me think of Gardevoir you know they could do like a fusion between these two and I'm not talking about Iron Valiant I mean like if you had Gallade and Gardevoir out you could have them form a fusion we kind of see them in a way playing around with this idea what with uh Don Dozo and Tatsugiri you know they fuse and it becomes one battle slot right Tatsugiri cannot be touched it's like a part of the Don Dozo. It could be something similar to that. Uh, obviously, Gardevoir and Gallade, you know, they, they've got Iron Valiant, but I, I mean more of like a battle-focused one. Now, if I can be real, I think Gim I think that uh, Fusion is... Um, ooh, I'm trying to think of the best way to say this without uh, ticking a bunch of people off. I think Fusions are boring. I think that uh, that's super lazy. Um, I love the creativity that Pokemon has brought thus far, and I would hate to see them swap it all out for, you know, something just very generic, like Fusion, something that, you know, fans have been speculating on for forever, you know, I, I don't like that. So, my uh, response to this would be, how about instead of Fusions, we see a combo move, you know, like, maybe when 
instead of Gardevoir and Gallade being able to fuse together, it could be like Gardevoir can, when it uses Moonblast and Gallade uses, um, I don't know, a Psycho Cut, the moves fuse together and get a extra boost and then have some kind of additional side effect. Like maybe it sets up Psychic Terrain or maybe it... Uh, lower special defense. Again, we have seen this kind of played around with with the pledge moves, fire pledge, water pledge, and grass pledge. These moves, when combined, do have additional effects, and I, and I do believe they get a uh, an additional power boost, but those are only locked to starter Pokemon, so I don't accept those. I don't think that those are good. I think that we need something more, and so uh, what this would be is, you know, a bit more widespread it wouldn't just be pokemon and maybe it could even be certain moves instead of certain pokemon so instead of Gallade and gardevoir uh being able to fuse their moves it's just any time a pokemon uses this move and that move it has this effect you know one thing i've always loved about the anime is the ingenuity of battling like um the way that you'll have like Ash be like use Pikachu and or use Thunderbolt Pikachu and combine it with Leaf Storm and it, it'll have some like crazy effect. I love that and I, I think they should you know branch that over into the games because it kind of does make it sense that I could you know use Thunderbolt on a flamethrower and it would do extra damage. I, I like that. I think that's really cool. Now another thing that I really like for the anime and I think would make for a really good gimmick is is different battlefields and they've this is another one that you could say they've kind of played around with what with terrains you know terrains uh like right now we have a misty terrain set up that you know boosts fairy moves it you know uh, it allows for um you know pokemon to not get uh status conditions if they're grounded and there's there's all kinds of different effects of uh all the different terrains but what i mean is more like actually doing actual battlefield so like uh i can set up grassy terrain but the battlefield is still a rocky battlefield so there's going to be an effect that doesn't last five turns it's going to be for the whole battle and you know maybe in some of these there's pokemon that i cannot use like if it's a water battlefield i cannot use a torkoal that would be stupid or maybe it'll be incredibly hindered and it would like sit on one of those floating docks like we see in the anime, you know, when Ash battles on a water battlefield. I think that would be really cool to, like, have battlefields where Pokemon can adapt to them, but, like, they're going to be there from the for the whole battle. And you can use terrain moves or maybe even moves like, uh, what is it, Steamroller, where it boosts the chances of you um, uh, being able to or it, or it gets rid of the terrain so that you get rid of the additional effects, rather, is, is what I should have began wording that with. But yeah, I, I think that could be a lot of fun. I think that would make for uh, very interesting battles. I do think that's a harder one to translate over to VGC. Uh, like I said, if I had to guess what they'll do, I would say fusions. But if I got to pick what they'd do... I would say do something with the abilities. That's kind of my favorite one that I think we've conceptualized here. Yeah, be sure to let me know in the comments below what you think of these, which of these is your favorite. You got your own gimmick ideas? Drop them in the comments below. There's plenty of fun ideas in fan games too, uh, but, you know, I don't know if we'd ever see those translate over because, again, they're from fan games. It would Game Freak doesn't look at fan-made material because they don't want to copy things. So, uh, you know, if they ever happened, it would have to be Game Freak coming up with it. But, yeah, again, let me know your thoughts, your ideas for gimmicks in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss all of our future uh, competitive discussions. We also do battles on this channel. Both are a lot of fun. You don't want to miss those. So again, like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on when those videos drop. And until next time, keep on climbing to the top.